So what's going on toxic gamers today? I need everybody. Okay. I need the call of duty refugees right now I need the call of duty beta testers. I need the call of duty BBC bundle riders the, yeah. the call of duty D riders I need the fans. I need the fanboys. I need the haters. I need everybody. Okay, because you see This gameplay that you're seeing is from call of duty black ops 6 Okay, this game has been in development for four years okay this is the next gen this is the extravaganza this is the best that a man can ever get that a man can ever experience Bruh. by yours truly activision and treyarch everybody just give it up for these seconds out here four years in development everybody and you know when people saw the first gameplay people were bricked out man like everybody was shaking myself included i was like damn this stuff is looking good right damn this ish looking good like the video if you just wanted zombies being like zombies dislike the video if you wanted zombies having that friendly music. i, I want to know where you guys at yeah right like the video for zombies being zombies dislike if you want warzone being like zombies but ever since they have and i got a video that i want to share with you guys by the way you know i always got a video that i want to share with you guys okay but today we're gonna talk about it very extensively because yes what happened right that you, you're probably wondering right like the first map they showed people were bricked up people were shaken what happened after people saw this gameplay why are people acting like that they caught the erectile dysfunction why are people acting like that they got blue balled i mean quite literally people got blue balled man everybody got blue balled the name of this map is liberty falls ended up blue balling the entire community ladies and gentlemen i present to you the homie, the man of the man, the, what am I even saying? Uh, the homie chopper, okay, shout out to the homie chopper. Take it away, mister. Call of Duty Zombies has evolved a lot over the years, and not just recently. I mean, yeah. ever since the beginning, every single Holy. installment thereafter would add some kind of- We really gonna start the video off like this by showing off the OG maps, and then you look at this map that they revealed four years in the making, man, damn, this suck is crazy, man brand new sweeping innovation to the game that would evolve the mode in one direction or another. And where we are in Black Ops 6, compared to where we started in World at War, is insanely different. They are almost yeah. not even the same game anymore. I, I think, it's not that I think, they have evolved, look at that, holy crap, they have evolved from World at War to Black Ops 3 zombies. They were evolving, evolving, but after Black Ops 4, they started evolving, but backwards. But something different has happened to zombies recently, not just a normal innovation game to game, there was a real fork in the road and a split somewhere, and it just happened to coincide after the release of Call of Duty Warzone. Now this is something I've been thinking a lot about ever since I released my last zombies video, and the number one complaint, or a big gripe that people seem to have with Black Ops 6 zombies, is that it's been so warzoneified, or the warzone influence has certainly yeah. had a, a toll on the game, that, you know, it's kind of lost a lot of the aura and charm that <laughs> old zombies has had. Today, I want to investigate Press. that question a little further, because I want to figure out how much has worse damn look at that this was 2013 i know black ops 2 came out in 2012 but this was origins zombies map the last one dlc4 for black ops 2 zombies came out in 2013 give or take uh closer right before i believe call of duty ghost drop right man these were simple times man how many of you guys were there to witness this man this map is a masterpiece i love this map i really love this map even though i'm not that big of an easter egg player right but i love this map this map was amazing for storyline for easter egg players for high round players as well people that seek challenge to play solo or with friends wonder weapons were amazing this map was just a masterpiece and i know people always say that yeah this map is overrated overrated and it was true at one point it was true because you know it was like mob of the dead uh and, and origins seconds would always say these maps seconds would always talk about these maps and, and yes it felt like that those were uh, these were overrated maps but looking back are these maps really overrated not that much right these maps were just legendary just classic uh, certified hood classic they were just bangers man uh, i i mean damn like what the hell happened bruh Warzone influence zombies. Has Warzone influence on zombies been entirely negative? What are some of the solutions to this problem? Because in a lot of ways, I agree. I think uh, much of the identity of Call of Duty zombies over the years has been obfuscated to Warzone. And especially after the last couple of games, you can certainly yeah. see that influence creeping more and more into the mechanics of the game, the structure, the looks, the visuals, etc. But before we can- Today, kids will never understand what like the OG zombies meant. 
and talk about where we are in Black Ops 6 and how we got here to this now war zonified Call of Duty Zombies, we need to go back to the beginning. Let's take a little bit of a trip down memory lane, go back to the beginning of Call of Duty oh, Zombies, no, and let's man. watch the evolution over the years to find out how we got here exactly. In World at War in Black Ops 1, the game was incredibly simple from a conceptual standpoint, and not to mention, it did borrow a lot of assets and maps and even characters from the multiplayer. And I bring this up because a lot of people, when they say, oh, uh, Zombies nowadays just reuses tons of assets from Warzone, and it's basically built from Warzone parts. I get what they're saying, and it's not exactly wrong, but Zombies has been no stranger to borrowing yeah. assets. I mean, even in the- yeah, Oh yeah, in the original, in the back in the days, like Zombies was all made from, uh, you know, m campaign assets, also from multiplayer assets, but that that's, see, that's not the issue because that that's how it started. You know, that's how it started. You, you, that's how it started. It was fresh. And also, the, but at the same time, even though they took assets from campaign and multiplayer, they still made sure that zombies would feel like zombies. Now we're in a different era, man. We're in a different era. They have a community. They're, I would say, quite frankly, more people right now prefer and enjoy and they look forward to zombies over the multiplayer. Which, I mean, yeah, right? Of course, multiplayer is multiplayer. Don't get me wrong. It needs to be good and it needs to be good. Good and good, right? Like, it needs to get better and better. Uh, don't get me wrong. There's a community for multiplayer as well. But zombies was always special, man. And these suckers killed it. But here's the thing, though. For multiplayer, we got millions of other FPS games, right? But in terms of zombies, yeah, we got like some games here and there, but none of them hit the same way as Call of Duty Zombies, right? Call of Duty Zombies was special, man. It was unique. I still, to this day, there isn't a single publisher that tried to replicate it. Maybe there's a game or two out there that is quite similar as Call of Duty Zombies, but that's not known and Sega's don't give a damn about it, right? Like, Call of Duty Zombies was special. I don't think they understand what they lost, man. Like, they, they have a solid fan base, man. Uh, especially Zombie Chronicles. That When that came out for Black Ops 3 Zombies, that turned out to be one of the best-selling DLC on PlayStation. And I bet you, like, it was probably one of the best on Xbox as well. But they always said best-selling on PlayStation because the user base is bigger, I guess. Uh, understandably, uh, right? It's bigger on PlayStation, so it's the best-selling on PlayStation. But I can also assure this. I can say this much that it was probably the best selling on xbox even though the numbers would have been smaller in comparison to playstation but nonetheless it would have still been a big chunk on xbox as well why because there's no competition for Call of Duty Zombies, man, and damn, these seconds try to war zone five, man. The these golden era of zombies, man. you know, in, in Black Ops 2 and 3, you know, stuff like that, they borrowed from the multiplayer quite heavily. I mean, the bows in Der Eisendraka, these are like one of the most iconic wonder weapons in zombies. That's an asset ripped from the multiplayer. That's just like the bow multiplayer specialist, or even the dragon in Garod Krovi is just a reskin flamethrower, really. But the difference always was, in zombies, 99% of the time, a reused asset or a mechanic from a different part of the game, the multiplayer or campaign, was typically always recontinued textualized, reskinned, and reworked to where it would fit a lot better in the context of zombies. Like, of course, the Dreisendrock bows are just basically made from the- ba Oh, man, this was- I wish there was a way to know you were in the good old days before you left the- This is like, crazy, man! I remember when this DLC came out! This was the Salvation Pack for Black Ops 3. Man, I still remember the names of the DLC. This map is called Revelation. It was part of the Salvation DLC pack it was for Black Ops 3. I still remember why, because- she was legendary! You know, suckers gave a damn! I gave a damn about this ish, bruh! You know, and Revelations is uh, also considered to... At the time, of course, like, there was a demand for zombie map that would be combining all the maps at once. And Trek listened and they delivered in that map. But I remember, after some time, people were like, mm, uh, uh, Revelation, you know, ain't that good. You know, I remember when that happened. But see, looking back, that map was amazing, man. That map, was, <laughs> that map was amazing, bro. I would prefer Revelations over uh, all the maps that, all the zombie maps that came out after Black Ops 4 Zombies. Even though like Black Ops 4 Zombies wasn't the, that that good, the HUD killed it, right? And also the quality wasn't as good as Black Ops 3 Zombies, and they try to really complicate Easter eggs nowadays. I mean, Easter eggs aren't even that good. I hope in Black Ops 6 Zombies they are good. But, you know, after Black... In Black Ops 4, they complicated so much that people complained about it, rightfully so, that ultimately they got rid of them. <laughs> Bruh. You know, people just want zombies to be more like Black Ops 2 Zombies and Black Ops 2 Zombies, but ultimately new content, but the formula being the same, but bigger and better story, better maps, and better gameplay. Sickers just want a good game, man. That's what Sickers want. And Sickers want zombies being zombies. You know, Sickers don't want multiplayer in zombies, bruh. 
I mean, Yasukas can still have zombies on multiplayer maps like they, they did, you know, with Black Ops Cold War uh, Onslaught, if you know what I'm talking about. Like the video if you know what I'm talking about. But now they just want the Captain BBC. You know, now they just want the Captain BBC bundles, man. Nothing wrong with Captain BBC, but like, damn. We don't want these kind of bundles and zombies all day, every day. We want a zombies crew. We want a cast. Uh, I guess we're getting it for the other map, but we're not getting for this map, right? And we don't even know if there's gonna be dialogue. We don't know how big... Uh, of the story it's gonna be and I know like not everybody's a big fan of story in zombies But like damn it wouldn't hurt it right like I uh, I remember story story You know the Richthofen the 04 the OG cast Richthofen Takio Dempsey um, Nikolai as well man those quotes their quotes their uh, Their uh, what was the chemistry right? was magical it was uh, funny it was hilarious and it was grounded as well and, and uh, it was very mysterious too you know uh, but sometimes you would hear Nikolai saying that oh my, my fourth wife never touched me there you know my wife never touched me there and, and, and it was funny it was funny and you know they had character and they were very edgy as well while being grounded in reality so yeah like suckers suckers loved it now it's like hey enemy in the AO enemy in your bum hole friendly <laughs> You, you know what I'm saying? Like, what are we talking about, man? Like, these things killed it. Now, I do have to agree that if B Black Ops 6 Zombies is gonna be your first time playing Zombies, or your second time, or even, I, I would say, give or take your fourth or fifth time, you're probably gonna like it, I guess. But if you have played Black Ops 3 Zombies, there are 99% chance that you're gonna be like, no, 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 this junk is trash, okay? And see, that's where we're at. The OGs are just not liking what they're seeing, right? But they love the initial, you know, the, the Terminus map. Even I liked it. But see, they did not show us the HUD, and that was, uh, I'm afraid, folks, like, listen, man, what if that was the rendered gameplay? In other words, fake gameplay, right? You, you feel what I'm saying? Because this gameplay that we're seeing was actually played by streamers and it was shown live, but you're seeing a video, this is not live stream gameplay. You're seeing an actual live, real gameplay. And this is how it looks like. I mean, damn, man, like crazy. These things had four years. And Modern Warfare 2022 had 3,000 devs making zombies. So, you know, it's a running joke that uh, four years, 4,000 devs. We know that they spent four years Working on this piece of junk, okay, and they had more than 3,000 devs. Maybe it was 3,500 devs, maybe 4,000, maybe 3,000, but like, damn, 3,000. Okay, let's just say this way, let's just put it this way, right? Four years and 3,000 devs. This is what they, they do. This is what they're doing to zombies. I mean, damn, man, this thing is crazy, bro. And, and I, I don't mind them bringing back the wonder weapons. Like, this is from Transit, and we just saw that Reagan Mark III from uh, Gurat Krovi from Black Ops 3. He just did that. He just shot that, right? Shout out to the homie Mr. Dolly JD for providing us with the raw gameplay right there. But, but like, damn, man, I don't mind them bringing back older wonder weapons. I think that's good, right? But can a brother also get some new crap, too, man? Like, damn, this thing is crazy, man. Four years, man. What were they doing? Sniffing each other farts? Is like farting in the wrong direction or apparently on their colleagues' direction? Bruh. What were these seconds doing, man? You guys gotta understand that four years, man. Four years. All right, let's get to it. Base mechanics of the multiplayer specialist bow, we don't know that, but obviously they work almost nothing alike. Like, they're very different, of course, and so they fit zombies a lot better despite them being built from a, a base layer of another part of the game. The point I'm making is that zombies is no stranger to reusing parts of other modes. So to say that Black Ops 6, or even MWZ for that matter, just for the mere fact that it borrows things from Warzone, it makes it automatically bad, is not exactly the best argument. Now, it's always up to the case of how it's done is the big point of contention here, and that's what we're going to get into. After World at War and Black Ops 1, zombies began to get a little more complicated with Black Ops Jeez. 2. It became slightly more focused on quests, there were more intricate steps and, and details to the mechanics of how the quests work and everything, and so- If you hated transit, there's a special place in hell for you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm joking, I'm joking, I'm joking. But I remember when this map first came out, right? People did not like it. For obvious reasons. But now people look at this map very fondly. Because it was still zombies. See, now we have... Yeah, right? Like, now zombies don't even feel like zombies. It's multiplayer war zonified. But town was always loved. You know, survival on town? The, the smaller area from transit? This area specifically? Was always loved because it was fun. So they were a bit more involved. There were a few new gameplay Sheesh. mechanics, but mostly it was still an open survival sandbox that was baked on tower defense. And this map was loved from the get-go. 
I, I know there's an argument and people always say that oh man you know what uh, people always hate the first uh, for the first time a new map comes out and then they love it to a certain degree it's true and the reason it's true is because we're evolving but backwards it feels like that every game every minute is worse than the last one and then it's like i said the last game wasn't that bad you know the last last game wasn't that bad but it's like we're evolving backwards every single time but this map was loved from the get-go i feel like that this map was just perfect the rise and the black ops 3 zombies perfect as well i love all of those maps man but um the rise and Drach is uh, the classic certified hood classic this map banger certified hood classic like the video gameplay agree. black ops 3 and 4 also introduced their fair share of brand new unique mechanics to the mode that would continue to evolve it and i don't love all of the changes that each respective game brought uh some of them were hit or miss but they still felt like they were in service of call of duty zombies as a mode for the most part and this would all change once we got the release of modern warfare obviously this is when <laughs> call of duty warzone came out and the zombies game to come out after the release of warzone was black ops cold war and this is where where we can really start investigating because as far as our main topic is concerned the war zonification of zombies this is the mode that becomes relevant everything i showed you in the previous zombies games prior to cold war was just to show what zombies was before that time and what it looked like cold war is a very different take on zombies in some ways and a return to form in others but most clearly the war zone influence has been shown in yeah. the weapon system and most particularly the hud and quest system Let disclaimer i like cold war zombies in general <laughs> I personally uh, loved its gameplay. I loved its gameplay, and this first map was actually decent, right? We oh, obviously the HUD was pretty bad, the war zonification, right? Uh, and also no zombie crew either. But Sekis gave it a pass because uh, it was still kind of the gameplay was enjoyable, and, and also they made this game in a pandemic. You know what I'm saying? And which is true though, like they still turned around a decent Call of Duty game. I I, I gotta give up, uh, give it up to these Sekis, okay? But, but this zombies, oh hell no, it's not, it's still inferior in comparison to Black Ops 3 zombies and Black Ops 2 zombies. But the gameplay was good, credit where it's due, it was uh, very good, it was very good in that aspect. Let's start with the HUD, because this is the most obvious thing to look at immediately and see the Warzone influence, and we can pick apart a couple of things here. Now, the HUD in Call of Duty Zombies has always been important. Not only is it functional, like you need to know what's going on, it provides crucial information about the game, but also it can provide some kind of immersion or stylistic choice that makes you feel a certain way. The HUD in World at War in Black Ops 1 was incredibly simple. It was just like a normal blood splatter with essentially your ammo and grenades. That was it. It was very minimal to the point and fit the theme of Call of Duty Zombies, you know, for obvious reasons. In Black Ops 3, this would get a little bit more complex because they would start doing unique HUDs for different maps. Now, not every single map had its own unique HUD. That would have been cool. But, you know, something like Shadows of Evil to the Giant, these had very different HUDs. The elements were more or less the same, like the same and, function, but from a stylistic perspective. And I've heard this a lot, right? People are always like, hey, man, it's a bonus, man, man. Liberty and balls. <laughs> people, I've been reading comments, man. Like some people are saying that Liberty Falls is just a bonus map, guys. This map was also a bonus map. <laughs> and it was amazing, bro. Like, this map... And on top, this is a remaster of the Rees. But see, it still felt like a new map. With the new uh, engine back in the days uh, for Black Ops 3 Zombies. At the time, it was good. And it still holds up to this day. I would argue that Black Ops 3 Zombies, if you're gonna play on, let's just say, even on PS4, PS5, I guess you can still play on PS5, right? Because it's a PS4 game. Uh, yeah, right? And on Xbox as well, right? PC, of course, then there's no competition. If you play this game on PC right now, max graphics, it's gonna look three times, or I should say more than three times better than whatever trash that you're looking on your screen, man. Damn. So this is a bonus map. Yeah, let's compare this bonus map, right? This bonus map, Black Ops 6, four years game, by the way, to this one, three years game. And this is Black Ops 6 Zombies that came out 2015. 20, this is a 2015 game. 2015 game bonus map to 2024 bonus map. Which one would you pick? Man, these suckers are really wild, man. Like, damn, they, they, they ruined something that was special to a lot of people, bruh. They ruined something that was special to them as well, bruh. They ruined something that... That, that could have been amazing, right? Because uh, there is no competition for Call of Duty Zombies. For multiplayer, yeah! I mean, we're talking Call of Duty here, so in a way, Call of Duty don't have that big of competition. I mean, Battlefield, it's... Uh, its biggest competitor and they're doing not that good and see like we're seeing everything flop and x defined 
is something that some people love, some people didn't. Other people were like, it's mid, but it's average, it's whatever. So that saw a massive... Uh, they saw 11 million people downloading that and playing that at least once. And now, you know, we're hearing that it cannot even get 20,000 people on it. That's what we're hearing. That's the recent news, right? So that one is also flopping right now. So point is that Call of Duty is still supreme. Because there is lack of new and good FPS games. And whenever we get new FPS games, for example, X Defiant, I don't want to dog on it. I don't think it's the trashiest game ever, even though it's Ubisoft and Ubisoft don't have a good track record. I don't think it's the trashiest FPS game ever, but it's mid though. And you do see the correlation and inspiration big time taken from Fortnite. And I'm not blaming Fortnite here. I'm blaming literally every publisher out there that is trying to still, uh, still to this day, trying to replicate Fortnite success. I mean, the specialists, man. I feel like that ever since Fortnite came out, FPS games, uh, all of them went downhill. Battlefield, Battlefield also adapted the Fortnite model and see what's going on with Battlefield. It's like, damn. But nobody cares right now. I mean, what we heard that next year we're gonna get the new Battlefield game but next year we're also getting gta 6 unless gta 6 gets delayed or battlefield gets delayed i really hope to god man they, these suckers are not dumb enough to drop battlefield game a new battlefield game at the same time as gta 6 i mean even call of duty back in 2018 when black ops 4 came out and treyarch and activision they were smart enough to drop it a month before red dead redemption because those suckers new man even though call of duty is call of duty they still cannot compete with Rockstar Games, and I bet you, same is probably gonna happen. Or maybe, maybe not, because now Microsoft has acquired it, so Microsoft, they're massive, okay? Microsoft is bigger than Take-Two, bigger than Rockstar Games, even though Rockstar Games is gonna have more people buying their game, right? But collectively, Microsoft is just huge, right? I would say even, and this is not even my opinion, Activision is bigger. Activision was 70 billion dollars. Uh, as a company now they're probably worth more but at the time when they bought them when xbox bought them they were 70 billion and take two the last time i checked they were 20 billion 20 billion versus 70 billion i mean both are big both are huge but of course activision is bigger right uh yeah yeah I, you would think that gta rockstar would be bigger sales wise fans wise they are but money wise which matters to these circus the most they are not ever since they have uh, Ever since they started copying Fortnite, it went downhill, man. Call of Duty got no real competition. They had extra fun as comp competition, but gen genuinely no real competition. And for zombies, they got zero competition, bruh. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section, guys. Check out this video on the screen. We got some wild stories going about going around in gaming, man. Check out this video on the screen. If you already seen it, then check out the video on the left.